I'd like to um, tell you a little bit about the Universal Kitchen. Universal design does not have to require a lot of space, and it also does not have to necessarily be very expensive. Many of the ideas are just common sense. Uh, all of the counters are at 42 inches in height. I'm six feet, my husband's six three. It's really easier for all people to work at elbow height, and so you might want to adjust your kitchen height accordingly. We um, can lower the cabinetry and the counters to the height of a wheelchair user or the height of anyone in between. We've used FSC certified Santos Rosewood throughout the entire space. It's environmentally friendly. Uh, no rainforest was destroyed for this rosewood. You might notice that all the kitchen counters are at one level. In some universal design projects, counters are offered at a multiple of levels. But what I'm trying to do is set this up so that if we did lower all the cabinetry, we could actually pull pans along the counter without having to lift them. You might notice that this faucet rotates so that you can fill a pan easily at counter level. Um, we also have a pot filler over in this area that allows you to fill the pan while you're cooking. And the counters are also environmentally sensitive, as well as being antimicrobial to prevent bacteria and fungal growth. We have lots of features in the cabinetry. We have pull-down shelving, pop-up shelving. One of the tricks in universal design is to store your heavy things low where you can operate them at elbow height and to store your lighter weight things high. We have very few upper cabinets in the kitchen. We've tried to keep most of the storage down low where a wheelchair user could access it more easily, but the few upper cabinets that we have have white interiors to improve visual acuity. Actually, the interiors of the cabinetry are white and the drawers throughout the entire space. The drawers open very easily with full extension glides and they have a self-closing feature so that you don't have protruding hazards, which are a problem for people with low vision because you can walk into the side of things and not really notice it. Our appliances are all rather unique. Uh, we have column refrigerators that are both hinged uh, to the right so that they open away from the task area. You never have to work around a refrigerator door. And that can be a big deal, especially from a wheelchair. We also have a magnetic induction cooktop that allows you to cook without heat. It uses magnetic energy and the cooktop stays ice cold. Also notice the controls have a safety lock. They're mounted on the front, but you can't turn the uh, control without pushing it in first and then rotating it. And the red uh, that comes on is called redundant queuing, offering you a message that the unit is on in more than one way, not just feel, but also appealing to sight. Uh, we have all sorts of fun features in the, in the kitchen, including a number of prep sinks. Um, most are quite shallow, so that if we were to lower the counters, a wheelchair user could easily access the prep sink. Uh, we have a prep sink for guests to use to help in uh, preparing the food while I'm cooking in the kitchen. We have a cleanup sink, and that sink has front-mounted drain controls. Um, very easy for a wheelchair user to use, but uh, it's a great thing for us as well. So you just simply twist a little lever on the front, and you've emptied the drain. People are going to design universally so that they can enjoy their life now and have a lot to look forward to. And that's the message that I really want to deliver is that consumers need to really seriously consider universal design um, if they want to improve their health and if they want to improve their longevity.